Okay, this question is basically identical to the previous one, at least in concept. I've got uh, mercury, and uh, it gives me its normal freezing point, so I'll write temperature fusion is uh, equal to, oh, hang on, negative 38.9 degrees Celsius. It also gives me its delta H, or change in enthalpy of fusion, as being uh, 2.29 kJs per mole. Uh, it then asks me what the entropy of, <coughs> or sorry, the uh, change in uh, delta S or en entropy change of fusion is uh, for uh, this, or 50 grams of mercury undergoing fusion. And my delta S, we should remember from the lecture, is equal to uh, delta H of fusion divided by T. Delta H of fusion has to be in joules, must be joules, not kilojoules, not anything else, and this must be in kelvins, and obviously we're not quite there yet. So we're going to take this negative 38.9 and add 273.15 to convert it to kelvins. That comes out to be uh, 234.25 kelvins. So that is my temperature that goes in the denominator. But what about this delta H fusion? That once again has to be in joules, so I'm going to have to use some stuff to manipulate things. The problem tells me I've got 50 grams of mercury, can I somehow use information that I have or can extract from somewhere to convert grams of mercury for the system into joules? Well, hopefully. I know from the periodic table that one mole of mercury weighs 200.59 grams, so the grams will cancel each other out. Now I'm at moles. Am I getting closer? Yeah, I think so. You notice we've got this value up here that has kJs per mole, so for this uh, process, I've got 2.29 kilojoules in one mole of mercury. The moles cancel each other out. Now I'm at kilojoules. I'm getting closer. I need to have turn them into joules, though, so I'm going to put kJs in the denominator. Remember that there are 1,000 joules in one kilojoule. The kilojoules cancel each other out. I throw all that into my calculator, plug and chug, and I should end up getting uh, 571 joules out the other end. That is the value that goes in the numerator here. This temperature goes in the denominator here. You throw that in there, you should get your final, final delta S, and it should be in units of joules per Kelvin, uh, which I think that is actually the correct unit, so there you go.